Load the dot. I love Beethoven. Okay, you crazy kids, this is Manic Miner. One of the best games ever, obviously. If you don't like it, then you don't like computer games. It's that simple. So obviously what we do is we collect the flashy keys and then go into the giant waffle, avoiding the duck with the mouth in the stomach. That's gonna hurt. You know, for the longest time, I thought that Minor Willy just had an amazing quiff. You know what I mean? An excellent haircut. And it's only recently, as we get a little bit older, and, you know, kind of play PC games and stuff instead of Spectrum games. It's only now I've discovered that, it, because he's a miner, it might well be, you know, the light on top of his cap. That's a major disappointment for me, because I really thought he had an excellent quiff, you know, a bit like Morrissey's. This room is ace. I especially like the end bit because usually, um, you know, if you drop a long way, then you die. But uh, this room allows you to drop more or less all the screen and live. It's great. Collecting the lollipops. When's the last time you've seen a penguin on ice skates? Hmm? I mean, no. In your face. Yes. I remember a long time ago when I started playing this game. Uh, I had to actually look up in a dictionary the word menagerie. Because obviously when I was like six or seven or I don't know how old I was. Young. When I was young. Um, you know, I didn't know what a menagerie was. And now of course I'm grown up. I know exactly what a menagerie is. That's where you keep menages. Okay, so we collect the last key and go into the toaster. Oh, oh, oh. Into the toaster! Oh, the abandoned uranium workings. I tell you, some things you just don't forget. And this is one of those things in life you kind of don't forget. This game is truly ace, isn't it? It takes me back. Of course, I had a Spectrum Plus, not a Spectrum Rubber Key. Which, um, well, obviously the, the joke was the Spectrum Plus what exactly? But uh, it was great with its professional keyboard. Okay, now we have to go around and collect the last key. So you can fall off there, but better safe than sorry, huh? No. Do you remember the code for the cheat? Six zero three one seven six nine, which apparently was Matthew Smith's um, phone number when he was writing this game. Eugene's lair is hard. Um, so what's your favourite Manic Miner level? I think mine might be Essential Cavern. Just because the body is brilliant. I mean, it's got, you know, a mouth and a stomach. It's not often you get to jump over toilets, really, is it? It's one of those things in life, it must be quite good fun to do. Yeah. He lives a good life, minor willy, I think. You know, it's going on. Imagine it, right? You're in a, no, a lair, so we say. You're going down, um, you know, an escalator. And then 
It, oh, that's got to hurt. Ah. He whacked his chin right on that toilet. Oh, I'll, I'll take back what I was about to say. Because I was about to say, imagine if you're on a conveyor belt and having a laugh jumping over toilets in in somebody's lair. But now I've seen that. Oh, no thanks. It does look quite good fun though, but you know. Oh, schoolboy error. Casplato! And that's how Manic Minor works. <laughs>